It is Monday, November 26th, 1956. The finals of the woman's 100 meter dash. Sitting in the stands is the woman responsible for the return of Australia to prominence in Olympic competition. Her name, Marjorie Jackson. In Helsinki in 1952, in the 100 meter dash, she would try to become the first Australian to win a gold medal in 56 years. Her main competition was expected to be Fanny Blanker's Kern of Holland, who at the age of 33 would try to repeat her performance of four years before in London. She had come out to Australia and I had beaten her here a couple of times. Um, and, uh, you know, actually when she won in London, she wasn't, what, a young woman. And I mean, four years added on to that, you know, I don't really feel at her age you can keep that sort of peak. Fanny Blanca's Kern wins her preliminary heat, but she is not fit. She has to withdraw from further competition. I knew that I was ill, I couldn't, but it was for me impossible to win the 100 and 200 meters. I know that before, but I think it would be nice to be in the final. The Australian girl, Marjorie Jackson, she was very good, she was running very well, but for me it was over. The final of the 100 meter dash. Australia is represented by Winsome Cripps, Shirley Strickland, and Marjorie Jackson. Marjorie Jackson wins, followed by Hassan Yager of South Africa. Third place, Shirley Strickland, Australia. Marjorie Jackson is the first Australian to win a track and field Olympic gold medal since 1896. It is four days later, the final of the 200 meter dash. Marjorie Jackson has not lost in the preliminaries and has set a world record in the semi-final. She is in lane one on the inside. I love running on a bend. I always have done. I'd sooner run on a bend, and I always used to feel I used to make up on others just through running on the bend. Once I hit the straight, I used to find it hard work. Marjorie Jackson wins her second gold medal. Four days later, she will try for her third gold medal, running the anchor leg for the heavily favored Australian 400 meter relay team. On the third leg, Winsome Cripps, running the inside lane, prepares to pass off to Marjorie Jackson. On the pass off, Cripps' knee hits Marjorie Jackson's arm. The baton falls. Incredibly, the baton bounces straight back to Jackson. But precious seconds have been lost. The United States overtakes Germany in the stretch to win the gold medal.